Hello you beautiful geeks, my name is John, welcome to my channel. Today we have an exciting one, it is the JLB Cheetah. Do you remember that I did one of the tyres with the Gorilla tape to stop the ballooning and the other tyres were all doing that ridiculous ballooning? Well I finally got around to doing the other three tyres and I have to say, what a nightmare. But, the good thing is, it's done and it's ready to go. Let's get out. Is a spirit of trouble under moonlit sky. I'm desperate to feel more alive. Alive, dreams that keep me wide awake. Call me up out of the
Okay, as soon as we're here and we're testing the ballooning effect on the tyres with the Gorilla Tape, we've got the GPS unit, so we thought we'd do a quick speed run. Let's get on. Seventy kilometres an hour, and that uh, I was hesitating on full throttle. That's not bad, is it? No. And let's face it, I can actually drive the car now versus with the ballooning, it just fly firing itself up everywhere. That's absolutely brilliant. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blue Mat. Um, I wanted to come back here because I wanted to uh, just dive a little deeper into whether it was worth all of the effort to stop these tyres ballooning. Um, now that I've seen the car and how it handles, I have to say yes. Yes, it was worth it. Yes, I, I managed to get blisters on both uh, fingers because I was pushing the tyres off like that but all completely worth it because did you see how flat the tire remained even at full throttle whereas before it would have been up like that at a point and we lost control instantly the car was always flipping up like this um, off its front wheels and now because it doesn't have that extra diameter it means that it's not got that extra torque to be able to lift the front wheels up which is absolutely fabulous the car needs a sway bar anti-roll bar plain and simple i have bought some i'm going to find a way how to do it i will try my best because it definitely needs it uh, it took hours to get these ready you have to get the tire i only uh, ever took the tire off on one side i didn't take both off uh, pulled the tire back over itself then did all the tape and everything oh that's come off a little bit see that Ooh, i guess that was my fault um, but there is a new technique that I'm going to try. If it works, I will upload it to YouTube so the rest of you can follow that. There's the putting it in the oven trick. Wife will be happy with that. There's putting it in the a saucepan full of water and boil it. Wife's really going to love that one. Or there's sit there like a plonker with a hairdryer for hours and hours waiting for the glue to heat up enough that you can pull it off. So I'm going to try the other two first, quite frankly. Um, so yes, if you have a cheetah, if you're thinking about buying a cheetah, either spend, what is it, 70 euros on, no, 60 euros on tyres with the belt, which will stop the ballooning, or do this trick, which works absolutely fantastic. I do have the video where I did, um, which tyre was it, where I did show how to get the the tape on the tire so that you just have to search for um uh ballooning oh actually i'll, I'll put one of those cards in the uh, video once it's uploaded so then you can just click on that and it'll take you straight to the video so you can see how i did it the three i didn't see the point of recording it because it's the same as one isn't it so there you go so if you like the video hit that like button subscribe to the channel as well and i will catch you next time take care of yourself stay safe bye bye